Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Canada One Family Network pressing conference <coughs> about, uh, about raising the Ontario Trillion Foundation's Resilient Communities Fund. We are joined here today with MPP Logan Kanapasi from Markham Songhill Riding and uh, Yan Yan Zhu from Canada One Family Network. Now I would like to I would first like to welcome MPP Kanapasi to say a few words. Hello everyone. Niho Ma, Niha. As the MPP for Mark Antoni, I'm excited to invite you guys to, to the, my constituency office and thank you for your introduction. And I like to see so many wonderful people from the communities and the media. Thanks for being here for this important announcement. I'd like to thank the Jimmy's here and along with other people. Uh, so I'm so excited to stand alongside the Canada One Family Network and recognize its outstanding accomplishment. And thank you for the, all the founders and volunteers and uh, all those uh, involved in this organization. I'm thrilled to congratulate Canada One Family Network for being awarded the substantial grant 71,200 from our government through the Ontario Trillium Foundation Resilient Community Fund. <laughs> this funding will serve as a beacon, beacon of the hope, empowering them to triumph over the adversity imposed by the rel relentless wave of COVID-19 pandemic and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. I want to thank and congratulate my good friend and colleague, uh, my Jan, Jan Zhu, the president and her dedicated team. You could see the team is here. Some of them is going to join later on. And uh, making Canada One Family Network instrumental in raising awareness of traditional Chinese literary arts, performance, and literature. I have always been captivated and deeply moved by the magnificent and richness of Chinese culture and the history spanning and of inspiring five millennia, over 5,000 years old, rich history. The profound contribution of Chinese civilization to the world are truly remarkable, encompassing the countless of art form and discipline that have flourished over the centuries. I am truly humble to grateful for the unwavering dedication of Canada One Family Network through their commitment to fostering acceptance and understanding within our communities through the exhibit entertainment and edification. They are shaping a vibrant future of Chinese tradition of a multicultural mosaic. You know, I have to say this, you know, former counselor for 13 years in this area in Chinese, uh, Chinese capital of Canada, and also the second time elected as the MPP, and also parliamentary assistant to children, youth and community services. I have enjoyed, uh, not only enjoying, I'm very privileged and enjoy dealing with working with the Chinese uh, community for so many years. And it's a wonderful, hardworking, vibrant communities and bring so much of values, not only for Mark and Thornton Riding, and also Ontario and Canada. And thank you for your contribution. Contribution to the culture, contribution to the economy, and contribution to so many things. Uh, together, embracing and celebrating the rich tapestry, ensuring the enduring legacy for generations to come. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Ontario Trillium Foundation for continued support of organizations like Canada One Family Network. Their commitment to fostering resilient community and investing in cultural diversity is truly a commendable. In my conclusion, I invite all of you to join me in congratulating Canada One Family Network for its outstanding contribution. Together, let us celebrate their resilience, creativity, and other their profound commitment to preserving and promoting cultural diversity and heritage in here in not only Mark and Ronald, Ontario and Canada. And thank you and congratulations again. And I'm pleased to announce this uh, wonderful contribution from our government uh, on behalf of the Premier of Ontario and Minister of Culture and India Caucus uh, for allowing me to recommend this organization to have this funding and thank you and Cecia, Cecia.
Thank you, MPP Kanapasi. Now, next, we will have Director Yan Yan Zhu to speak about the grant and uh, its impact on the community. Good morning. I would like to extend my gratitude toward Ontario Premium Foundation for granting Canada One Family Network the Resilient Community Fund. I would also like to thank MPP Logan Kanapathy for your continued support in Maham Songhir area and for helping our non-for-profit organization work our way through the OTF grant process. Together, we're able to make Ontario a more vibrant and inclusive place to celebrate multiculturalism and diversity. And I'm honored to be part of the process. This past couple of years during the pandemic has been challenging for many of us during the programs, events, and festivals shutting down. The Resilient Communities Funds will greatly help Canada One Family Network be able to adapt to a newer way of running events as we start creating virtual programs and broadcasting events. We also be able to reach greater audiences than before as we now not only be able to broadcast our events to those unable to attend in person, but we can also reach online viewers from all across the greater Toronto area and Ontario. The Resilient Communities Fund also provided staff to help with this broadcast and virtual events, which helped rebuild and recover from pandemic. Mm -hmm. Through this new virtual events and programs, we can empower Asian community members and tell the stories of their heritage through arts and performances and provide youth with opportunities to learn about traditional literary culture and how it connects with Ontario's multiculturalism and our, our multicultural society. We also will continue to provide free and low-cost arts programs to youth and seniors and improve them to become more <coughs> inclusive with the new virtual program format. With the Ontario Training Foundation's Resilient Communities Fund, Canada One Family Network will be able to provide better programs and events for everyone in GTA and Ontario. We hope to see many of you attend our upcoming festivals and events such as the Asian Heritage Culture Festival this weekend. And also we have Scarborough Fair Music Festival in August and the Age of Literati Culture Festival in October. Also several concerts and community programs, whether it be in person or virtually. Thank you very much. Having been so much uh, community initiative, especially the showcase in the Chinese culture, in the rich Chinese culture, through the art, through the music, through the literature, through the painting, through the music and festivals and so on. And thank you for their work, and especially during the COVID time. Uh, Canada One Family Network play a vital role, engaging, getting the people out of the social isolation, and give them a spirit to get out and to you know, make the, the, the spirit, uh, spirit to be up and uh, getting out of the family, getting out of the, out of the home, uh, getting out of the isolation. And thank you for the, all the great work you do and uh, building resilient and compassionate uh, community uh, in, in Ontario and Canada. And thank you for the great job you do. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad and I'm, I'm pleased to announce the $71,000 dollar go to, to the good cause. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what is one thing you can, can change to the society or is this the first time 
to, to funding this, this organization? Yeah, this is not a first time and they have been receiving the yeah. funding uh, last time too. And this is how the funding in we telling our community, we are there for you. Uh, our government uh, and our ministers and our premier uh, that for we there for you. You know, the, for the, these are the grassroots organization. They are the ears and eye of the community. They understand that, you know, the Canada One Family Network understand the Chinese culture. They understand the Chinese culture. They understand their culture, how they can empower the people through the, the culture. Culture is a powerful tool. You could do so many things through the culture, through the music, through the art, through the painting, through the festival. That, that's the message here, here, and we are there for them. That, that, that's what we are doing. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You could speak in Chinese. Yeah, but yeah please. I雇员工和推广我们的本地的艺术家 能够有更高的质量，啊，能够给我们社区更好的平台。那么我们在本地艺术家目前来讲呢，有上百个艺术机构和我们有很啊好的这个友好的这样的一个推广的啊关系。那么在我们自己本中心呢，也有很好的啊
在这个星期的周末呢，我们有一场啊、呃、别开生面的亚裔文化传统的文化的艺术节。这个艺术节呢是在 Bradford Mall 啊，五月二十六号到二十八号这三天是户外的活动，啊，将近五六百人的本地艺术家青少年会来参与我们的演出，三天的啊。持续不断的演出，从星期五、星期六、星期天，这三天演出，然后参加我们的这个本地的呃，我们讲叫参参展的赞助商啊，摊位啊，或者说美食摊档啊，也有五六十家。那么对于我们这个社区来讲，就是包括 GTA， 包括马汉这样整个社区来讲呢，呃，这样的一个大型的。呃，亚裔文化月的庆祝活动，嗯、呃，也是非常令人欣喜的。就是参与的人可以多达呃十万人。那么我们也希望能够嗯、呃、有更多的媒体、更多的社区的人士来参与我们的活动，能够推广我们传统的亚裔文化，能够让我们的青少年呢了解到我们美好的一些呃亚裔文化传统。还有品尝我们的美食，让我们能够青少年真正热爱我们自己的文本民族的文化，能够为加拿大的多元文化更多的理解和包容做一份贡献。谢谢你们。嗯嗯谢谢